today, as we have mentioned earlier, we are going to feature our three of our candidates for baptism for this day. And uh, first, of course, I would like to introduce to you an 18-year-old BS nursing student from Lebanon. And she is Tanya Yvonne, what's the, Pakuri. Okay, Pakuri. Can we right here? Okay, this is Tanya. And of course, with Tanya is from a 20-year-old uh, BS uh, management, okay, a student from Romblon, 20 years old, Philip Henry Kantui. Did I right, say it right, okay? And then, of course, last of the least, we have Jean Sambo from a 20, uh, you're 30 years old from M M M M M taking Masters of Science in Nursing, Jean Sambo from Senegal. Good morning and welcome to Sabbath School. Shall we, would like to sit down there? Okay, welcome everyone. Okay, we'd like to sit here. Okay. Okay. So, um, first of all, we, will, uh, we would like to talk about, uh, your, um, fa about your family, of course, uh, your parents, your siblings, and uh, your other, uh, you know, uh, part of your uh, family, and uh, of course, how were you raised spiritually by your family? Because I understand Tanya here uh, came from a non-Adventist family, right? From Lebanon. So your mom is a Filipino. Yes. Yes. So how? What was your experience in uh, spiritually when it come from your home? Back. Uh, so I grew up in a. Um religious family religious yeah and my mom is a protestant but the family my relative that i grew up with is a uh, baptist mm -hmm. and i have other relatives that are catholic as well and my father is a muslim mm -hmm. so yeah so they taught my grandmother used to teach me um bible stories like that so i got curious about all these things so I, I started to ask myself like how did this all start like Mm, like, what is this, what is the purpose? Like, uh, how God works, like, stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, I just grew up being curious. And then I keep, like, throughout my encounter with this religion, religions, um, there's some, there seems to be something missing. Missing. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm not satisfied. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I just, I'm just like finding. So in short, the truth. you were, uh, you were exposed to different religions. Yeah. Yeah, but. I understand your mom uh, studied in uh, Enlac, Enla, okay? Yeah. And that is in Pangasinan mm -mm. because she's uh, from Pangasinense. Yes. Okay, so that's nice. And uh, so you're, you have Baptist, you were the Muslim, Catholic, and uh, others, okay? So you, you, you think something's missing when yes. you, okay? Okay, what about uh, Philip? Philip, oh, one. One thing common about Tanya and Philip, they are the only child. Unika iha, uniko iho. Okay, so they're, you must be very precious to your parents, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, Philip, yeah. Yes, how, how, are, how were you raised uh, by your family spiritually? I mean, I was raised by my family. By, I entered, I grew up in a Catholic school. Catholic, yeah. Starting from Roman kinder Catholic. to high school, so we're always my family is always going to church every Sunday. So, for your decision to uh, to be baptized or to accept Christ is a total change from your orientation as a Roman Catholic, yes, right? Sir. So, how did uh, how did you start um, asking about about? Adventist, uh, you know, uh, it's, faith. It started when I was in first year college. First year college, uh, where here? Uh, yes. AUP, yeah. AUP. First Sabbath here in PIC Church. I said, there's so many questions in like what? Like, what questions were you asking? Why? Because in our church, there is a cross. There's a cross. Yes. Okay. <laughs> first thing I asked to my friend, my housemate. Ate, why there is no cross here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mga santo, wala yes, rin. Yes, sir. Mga uh -huh. images. Ano, so were you able to get the answer? Where, where did you get the answer? 
From my... From your? Housemate. Po. Oh, your housemate. So, so you're st uh, staying uh, off, off campus. campus and you have an Adventist housemate. Yes, so he was he or they were the ones who told you about yes, why sir. we don't have a cross mm -hmm. and the saints and uh, many you know, other uh, Catholic, uh, what do you call this, practices. Yes, <laughs> okay, Brother John, okay. Yes. So you mentioned that you were baptized. Sure, yes. What, what, what age in the, the Adventist? Sure. Uh, <laughs> what happened? I, Oh, oh, I come from a, a Catholic family. Yes. And uh, I, we are seven children seven. in our family, and I am the second. Second, okay. Yes. So, so when I when I was uh, a, a younger than, than 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 now, I I have one of my friends who told me about uh, Adventist faith, but uh, I wasn't so very serious. Yeah, I just joined joining because I I I I, I wanted to. Yeah, to show that just uh, he's my friend. So I wasn't so very sh uh, serious at that time. Okay. Yeah. Who invited you to, uh, you know, to be baptized in, uh, in the Adventist faith uh, at that time? Yeah, uh, I have some of my friends, they were Adventists also. Oh, okay. Yeah. So by the time I, uh, because just because I wasn't serious at that time, so I just spent a few months, after a few months, I left the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I left the church. And several months after, I come back. But since I come back, uh, I came back. I did not feel peace because it is something like uh, something was saying to me, "You, you, you, you must get baptized again." <laughs> but I, I, did, I, I try to ignore, ignore that, that voice. But uh, during several years, this, that voice is talking to my my mind. Oh, so. so I cannot, I can't find peace. So I, I start thinking more seriously about who is Jesus Christ. And my, my stay here in the Philippines has been a very, a very essential uh, 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 point for, for, oh. for my faith. When I came here, I joined Bible studies group, a small group, and my God began bringing very big changes in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm loving more and more Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I, now, I have now a new face of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And now I decide now, Lord, I want to listen to this voice that is talking to me during several years now. Amen. I want to restart with you. Amen. Okay. So how, how did you start learning, Tanya, about the, the faith? How, how did you uh, have Bible study, regular Bible studies with, with whom? Would you like to tell uh, us? It all started with my roommate at the ACE. She's the one who really influenced me. Mm -hmm. She would always tell me to go with her to Bible study with Sir Ravel. And then uh, when I started uh, Bible studying with them, it's like little by little, my uh, curiosities were fed. So it just, you know, it happened regularly. I already uh, started to join Bible studies regularly when uh, Sir Ravel is available. And then that's when it all started. And uh, I started praying more and more and asked for the Holy Spirit to fill me, and to guide me to the right path. And then um, I decided to get baptized um, last sem. But uh, there was an issue with my mom. It's like she was stopping me. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't sure yet. So I wanted to talk to her first to clear things up. So then I told my uh, roommate that maybe I'll just get baptized this sem, okay. the second sem. And then um, I talked to my mom, but she was like, I was having a... I was getting negative responses, mm -hmm. so yeah, uh, so I just kept praying for my mom that she would finally accept what I want, that I want to get baptized. And uh, recently, I told my mom that, mom, I'm serious, I really want this, I'm convicted, and this is where God has led me, so please allow me, like, give me your blessing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and so, finally... Uh, what happened to you? Uh, what about your dad? Oh, my mom and my dad is divorced, so mm -hmm, uh, I, I don't really have uh, contact with my father. But did you have any chance of telling your dad also? No, no okay. So I don't you... have any contact with him anymore. Okay, yeah. thank you. So what did you see in your roommate? This is in the dorm. Uh, Wally. Right? Okay. So, uh, um, that, that really uh, inspired you to be like her or to be uh, with the same faith with her? Yeah. 
Well, she's really dedicated. Uh, that's what I see in her. She's always having her devotional every morning when she wakes up and also before she sleeps. And yeah, I just always see her and I, I'm like curious, like, I wonder what she like sees, like, why does she want to do this, you know, every day, every night? Why is she doing this? And then, yeah, I just uh, found myself okay. that I also fell in love with Bible studying and uh, yeah, like that. Amen. Okay. Is your roommate here? Um, is she here? I hope, I <laughs> hope so. so. I told her to yeah. come early. Yeah. Praise God for your roommate, no? For yeah. giving you a very good, uh, you know, for influencing yeah, you. Amen. Okay, amen. And uh, Brother Philip? How about your parents? Because you are the only child, is it easy for you to, to convince them about your decision that you will be baptized uh, today? It's not easy, for, sir, because it's... Did you, were you able to discuss it with your parents already? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. and uh, what did they, uh, they say? They said, uh, it's okay, it's my decision. Okay, huh? Mm. Oh. But it will be difficult for me to... Baka sinabi mo, pag hindi kayo pumayag, wala na kayo anak ngayon. Hindi na po, sir. Siyempre, okay. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Now, the second uh, part, um, coming to Christ, accepting Christ, is really um, a decision. And when you come to Christ, according to 2 Corinthians uh, 5, uh, 17, when you come to Christ, you are a new creation. Did you f experience that? Becoming a new creation, did you, uh, brother uh, John? The peace I am feeling now in my heart, I Amen. never get it ever. I'm, I'm experiencing a new life with Jesus Christ. I feel so very heavy. I, I have assurance not of the of heaven now since Amen. I decided to, to uh, seriously to be with Jesus Christ. I have a new perception of God. And she's becoming more and more my father, and Christ is becoming more and more my best friend. Amen. Okay, very good. I'm feeling very uh, deeper and deeper changes into, into, in, in, into me. Okay, can you share, uh, Brother Philip, what have you given up from your past? I mean, that you really, uh, you know, uh, enjoy doing. Now you want to, uh, you know, to change because you are now with Christ. Can you share some of your uh, experience there? Uh, my habit of occasionally drinking, sir. What is this? Occasionally drinking. Drink? Yeah. <laughs> drinking, you love drinking. Yeah, but occasionally, but. Occasionally. So now you're uh, reformed. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> and what about you, Tanya? What uh, experience that uh, really uh, made you different from your past? Well, before, when I was in high school, I was kind of rebellious. <laughs> yeah, but um, since college started, I, little by little, I started to change. I didn't even notice it. Mm -hmm. So I just continued praying and praying. And... Amen. Okay, so you become, a pray you become prayerful yeah. at this time. Okay, so we will now uh, pause for a while and we'll listen to a special music to be given by our young ladies. In the meantime, okay, let's listen to it. journey from Jerusalem, returning to the home, Joseph and his family traveled all day long. They must have walked for many miles before they realized Jesus was not with them. Mary sadly cried.
Amen. Praise God for the beautiful music. Okay. Uh, bro by the way, brothers and sisters, we are featuring three of our candidates for baptism for today. And we have Sister Tanya from Lebanon. We have Brother John from Senegal. And of course, Brother Philip from the Philippines, okay, from Blonde. Now, um, we'll, uh, the last part of our, um, um, you know, um, discussion today is all about your mission because being baptized is not enough you know you don't just uh, you know coming to church and you know and uh, practice uh, Christian uh, lifestyle however we we have a mission do you do you agree okay so if you will be uh, today I would like you to complete the sentence the most or the greatest thing I would like to do for others is is to share the word to them. To share yeah. and tell the good news yes. of salvation. Share with others. Okay, what about you, uh, Brother Jean? Uh, actually, 
before surrounding my, my life in Jesus Christ, I always were afraid to talk about Jesus Christ. I always were ashamed to talk about him, even shy. But now all that fear is gone. I'm now ready now to talk about Jesus Christ and at any time, at any, 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 anyone. And my, my, my promise for God is to work for him in the mission field all my life. And I'm now, I think now by the grace of God, I'm ready to preach the gospel to any, anyone. Amen. Okay. What about you, uh, uh, Philip? The greatest thing I want to do for the Lord through others is what? Of course, our ministry. Okay. So, what about your loved ones? Don't you want to, you know? My family, of Your course. family, of course. You want them to be with you in, the, in, in faith also, right? Okay. So, uh, today we will be... Um, um, Asking you to give uh, your final words to our, to all, uh, to, the, to all our brothers and sisters there, especially to those students who have not uh, decided yet to, to accept Christ. We start with uh, Brother Philip. Would like to give your message. <laughs> Anong gusto mo sa kanilang sabihin? Uh, just trust God. For as for his guidance every day. Okay, amen. What about your, what did your parents uh, tell you about uh, your mom already uh, knew it? Yes, How sir. about your dad? He also know it. Sir. Okay, so okay, bear. amen. Okay, what about you? What's your message to our brothers uh, and sisters? I want to, sh uh, to tell to uh, people in front of me that salvation is not a matter of people around you. Salvation is a matter between you and Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't let people to stop you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Okay. So, how about you? Um, just always remember that God is with us and uh, just keep praying continually. Ask for the Holy Spirit and for God's Amen. guidance. Amen. And that is also true in our lesson for this week. Repent. How can you repent? We have to ask the Holy Spirit. For repentance because it's the Holy Spirit that leads us to repentance so that's how important uh, the Holy Spirit is okay I would, I would like to call brother uh, Justin Chibomba to uh, please lead us in the prayer for our lesson okay Um, may I request our Sabbath school teachers to stand up, please, so that we pray together. Uh, even as they stand up, I still want to extend the invitation that please, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock p.m. up to 7, we still meet in Mother's room. Everyone is invited. We are growing every number. We are even passing invitation to you soon after baptism. Come and uh, see what we discuss in Mother's Room from 6 o'clock p.m. Friday. Shall we pray? Our God and our Father, we want to thank you for the privilege of standing in front of your people today. We pray, Lord, that you may speak unto us so that your word can be explained. We also pray for the class participants that, Lord, give us an opportunity of discussing your word so that we understand you and the new a little bit better more than we do now. May you, loving Father, be with every class, and may you be the one who's going to teach us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.